Previously in this mini-series on my Gem Love project, I made a first stab at a client-side implementation for endorsing a gem. Today, I want to complete the server side of the equation. I begin by starting a spec file for a server class. It requires the file gemlove slash server, which doesn't exist yet. It also requires rack test, because the server is going to be a rack-compatible HTTP application. Next comes a skeleton for the tests to come. Next I create the gemlove slash server file. In it, I define a server class inside the gemlove module. I want to stop here briefly and do some disclosure. In this series, I've tried to show my TDD cycle for building code. But the truth is, I do sometimes omit steps in the interests of time. For instance, I would ordinarily run the spec file I created before creating the implementation file to verify first that I got a missing file exception, and then, once the file existed, that I got a missing constant error for the server class. The faster I can get a failure, the better, because that keeps me grounded in the reality of my code. So if, in this or future episodes, you see me skip directly from writing a test to writing implementation without the intermediate step of running the test and seeing it fail, that's to keep the pace of the demonstration moving forward. When I'm not recording a five-minute screencast, I run the tests as often as possible. Back to the task at hand. When my server receives an endorsement request, I expect it to record the new gem endorsement in a list somewhere. That suggests that for this test I need something to play the role of that endorsement list, so I create a test double for the job. Then I instantiate a server, injecting the endorsement list double as an option. Next, I create a fake browser session using tools provided by Rack and Rack Test. I pass the server object into the fake browser. Then, I make an assertion that, once the request is complete, the endorsement list should have received a message telling it to add a new entry. Finally, I tell the fake browser to make a post request endorsing Aira T. Howard's Fatter gem. To make this test pass, I first require the Sinatra gem in the implementation file. While I could write the server as a straight rack app, Sinatra adds a lot of handy conveniences, which will speed up the process. I make the server class a subclass of Sinatra base and give it an initializer. The initializer sets an endorsement list instance variable based on the passed in option of the same name. Then I use Sinatra's DSL for setting up HTTP routes to define a post action at slash endorsements slash gem name, where gem name can be any string. The body of this action is a single line which tells the endorsement list to add a new record using the given gem name. This satisfies the test. Now that I'm confident it works, I go back and add a default implementation for the endorsement list, for when I'm not explicitly injecting one in. I decide the endorsement class, which you may recall is a data mapper based model, makes sense for the role of endorsement list. Now that I have identified which object will play this role, I need to give it the ability to respond to the add endorsement for gem message. So I create a spec file for the endorsement class. It requires the implementation file, then proceeds to describe the desired behavior for this class level method. Quick post-production note here, I wrote it reads a new endorsement when I meant to write, it records a new endorsement. The method being described here is a borderland method. That is, it is the last stop in my application code before control will be turned over to the database, with DataMapper as an in intermediary. Since this method will adapt my code to code outside my control, I test it in an integration style. I use RSpecs expect to set up a block which will exercise the method. Then I assert that after the block is executed, the endorsements table has one more endorsement in it. There are several steps to making this work. First, I need to move the endorsement class out of its temporary home in the acceptance spec file and into a file of its own. Then, when I run the test, the error I see is one complaining that the data mapper repository is not yet set up. To fix this, I grab the database setup and migration code that was being run for the acceptance test and move it into an RSpec configuration block in a new spec helper file. In the before each configuration, I add a db true tag. This tells RSpec to only use this before hook on examples or spec suites which are also tagged with db true. Back in the endorsement spec, I require the new spec helper file and tag the example with db true. Now I'm finally ready to add the add endorsement for gem method. The implementation is anticlimactic. It simply delegates to the data mapper create method to save a new row in the database. With that addition made, and a quick fix to the test to test the count of endorsements instead of the endorsements themselves, and the test passing, I've now completed the server side of adding endorsements. In the next edition of this miniseries, I'll verify that the client and server can work with each other. But for now, I'll say goodbye, and as always, happy hacking!